Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On. Welcome to your Tuesday edition of 7 o'clock Spurs. First up today, AC Milan midfielder Ricardo Montalivo has announced that he's going to sign a new contract at the Rossoneri. Now, why does that matter to us? Well, it matters because we have been interested in him. There have been a lot of rumours saying that he could be the next addition to Spurs' squad. He's a lovely little typical Italian player, playmaker, loves the ball at his feet. Rumours are rumours though, aren't they? It doesn't sound to me like a Paul Mitchell signing. He's not a young player with, with loads of talent coming forward. He's not English. It doesn't strike me like he's the kind of player that would fit into Poch's system. So rumours become rumours, but I've got to tell you all about it anyway. It's not going to happen. He's going to sign a new deal. Paper talk. Next bit of news. Ian Wright, that ex-Arsenal player, but now general TV pundit slash podcast merchant, has said that he thinks the draw against West Brom at the weekend was a good point for Spurs. He says they didn't lose it, and that was the main thing. Now, I'm not one to want to agree with ex-Arsenal players, particularly Arsenal players who were their top goal scorers for a long, long time. However, right, he's got a point here. This was on the Sun Goals podcast, by the way. He's got a point. In my opinion, a winter, cold, windy day in West Bromwich against the Tony Pulis side just spells disaster for old Spurs. Thankfully, new Spurs got that point. Let me know again what you think about it, though, because I think a lot of Spurs fans think it was two points dropped. I personally don't agree. Finally today, got to talk about Saido Berahino again, but I'm also going to talk about Andros Townsend because last night they both played for their respective under-21 sides. That's right, Saido Berahino was playing for West Brom against West Ham and Andros Townsend was playing for us against Southampton. Now, why am I bringing this up? Well, I think that's interesting in terms of what could be a potential swap deal in January. Berahino was only on the bench against us at the weekend, of course, and Townsend's not really getting anywhere near the first team for Spurs. What would it take, do you think? I think maybe 10 million plus Townsend, or we could get ourselves a Saido Berahino striker for just after Christmas. I'd take that deal. What about you? Let us know in the comment section below. Anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Have yourselves a good Tuesday night. Come on, you Spurs. You up there at the end of the season? We, because of Leicester going up there and Liverpool getting up there and Chelsea not being there, I think we 